Here are the ingredients that I'm going to cook with tonight. Now we got Creole seasoning by Zatarans, we got carrots, we got bacon, we got a jar of pesto, traditional basil pesto, we got a red pepper, a head of cabbage, and garlic. First thing I want to do is get my cabbage ready. I'm going to break these outside leaves off, this head of cabbage here and put them to the side. I can use them later for something else. I'm gonna take this and cut really thin slices. I wanna cut thin slices. All right, now here's my baking pan, it's a metal baking pan. I'm gonna take my cabbage and arrange it on the bottom like this. I'm gonna cover the whole bottom with this cabbage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my bell pepper, but this is for later. I just want thin, <clears throat> thin slices. All right, here are my fillets. I'm gonna sprinkle some Creole seasoning on them. On both sides. All right, now I'm going to add the pesto, but first I'm going to stir it. I'm gonna be pretty generous with this. I like pesto, but you don't, you can use what you wanna use. All right, now I got a fresh spoon because I don't want to put fishy spoon in the, the pesto jar. I'm spreading that pesto around on the fish. All right, let's do the other side. Now I'm going to attempt to add a bit of garlic. Just try to like get that. Evenly spread as best you can. So I'm gonna wrap these in bacon and I'm gonna do it a particular way, way I think is the easiest. I am going to line this clean plate with bacon and then attempt to pick up one of the fillets and roll it. All right, let's try this. I've never done this before. This is something new. <laughs> it's already not working out too well. Here we go. You get the idea. Ah. 
Hope I have enough bacon. Oh, that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna put this in that pan on top of the uh, cabbage. All right, here we go. This is my finished product before it goes into the oven. <clears throat> As you can see, I've added carrots to the plate and I've dressed the bacon rolled fillets with red bell pepper. Now I've preheated this oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes. Here we go. Here we go, it's been in the oven just a little bit over 40 minutes. And it looks good, it smells good. Now let's check it out. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, that's pretty good. That's a lot of bacon too. I probably won't be able to eat all of this. Wow, and I think it's Coonhound approved because the old Coonhound is standing right here staring at me. About to make noise any second, I believe. So, sometimes when you cook a uh, gas for goo, you know, fresh water drum. Here we go, it comes out rubbery or tough. Like if you fry it or you know, don't try to cook it on the half shell, that, that's gonna come out like as John Miller said, something you make shoes out of. But this this is pretty tender, it's not tough or rubbery. Mm. Mm. It's got that wonderful pesto flavor. The cabbage is pretty good too. It's got a slight gamey taste to it. The drum has a, Gasper Goo has a slight gamey taste to it anyway. Well, it's not too bad. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you next time.